Hi Pisces, happy September. I hope you are doing well. Okay, you guys will definitely want to check um, Virgo's reading. If this relates to you in any way, shape, or form, you will know it. Um, but they had something very similar going on over there, only it was a little, it, it has something to do with money, bad influences, and, and decision making. Okay, um, let me go through the cards and I'll tell you what I, I feel, okay? You come in in the present with the Tower card and the, uh, the Marriage card in reverse. This is kind of like the Hierophant, okay? So in the past here, you've got the King of Cups and the Eight of Coins in reverse. In reverse, oh, I'm sorry, it's not in reverse. The King of Cups and the Eight of Coins. This can be something work-related too, okay? But now in your future here, you've got the King of Wands in reverse and the Two of Cups. Okay? I think there's a few things going on here, okay? Now, what you're really not seeing here is the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Enlightenment card, which is what brings the light and the joy to the Sun card. It's like what, what pulls those two anchors together, okay? Now, the, what's the outcome here? The opportunities from this long-term opportunities here again I think Virgo got a lot of these cards over there too um, I know they got the enlightenment card in reverse in their outcome I believe um, but they did have the death card also in reverse there okay this is the death card in reverse the prudence card which is one of the virtue cards and you've got the justice judgment card in reverse okay these are in the the outbound now what I want to say here I think that you may need some help here in deciphering these things okay I think that um, I just keep keep hearing seriously run like you should run here okay like run away from whatever this is I think that people are giving you advice and you're quite, you're not sure what to do or who to trust or who your friends are, or who your friends aren't in a business arena here. I think you're getting, um, some advice comes in here and it might be some, um, it might be something really potent. Now I can't tell if that's against someone else or if I can't, I can't tell if, um, You're hoping for this person anyway. I just don't think that you 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 think there might be a silver lining here or, or you may have somebody investigating someone and they come back with um, some news for you here. But I think you hesitate whether to trust this person or trust what they're saying to you or whether to go in a different direction here. For some of you, I think you're dealing with something in a work arena here where your ethics are going to be called into question. So be above board with that because I do think that someone goes to prison in this scenario here for some misconduct with something. Okay. Um, watch your investments with other people here. Okay, I think that you're going to need money, like in the very near future, you're going to need it um, in, fast. You're going to need it fast for something here. Um, I think for some of you, if you were thinking, if you were in the midst of getting married or something like that, I think that that gets postponed a little bit here due to whatever this is that's going on. Um, there's something in reference to financials here too. Try to keep your composure, no matter what this is going on. I think that someone may, you may have loaned someone money, or there may be an inheritance that is not. There's not everyone is seeing this, 
this the same way. Some people are thinking it's a gift. Some people might think it's an inheritance, but I think the lines are skewed. Maybe contracts weren't signed properly and, and um, now there's a, a money issue of who owes who what here. Now, again, your immediate future with that King of Wands in reverse. That is not a good card in reverse. It's usually when it shows up in a reading and it's not your husband or it's not a lawyer of some sort or a business alliance. It's usually someone that you get involved with that you don't realize is already married. He's in reverse here. Okay. Um, so this could be something, too, where I think in, in Virgo, someone was really able to schmooze someone and pull them right out of their their comfy life into somewhere that's not so comfy um for other for some of you this is someone who is wealthy with the two of cups there that i just i have a funny feeling here that there's two scenarios i think some of you may have lost hope in something and you walk right into um a relationship here okay keep in mind this card in reverse is it's it's not really a good thing because I think it's someone you're really taken with basically with both of these cards okay um, and I think that you don't see this coming um, but it is in your immediate future here this may be the person who actually gives you advice on something and you're not quite sure whether to take it or not you know I keep hearing run I just keep hearing run and I keep hearing not really, I, I don't know if what he tells you is, it could harm someone. So he must tell, this person must tell you something here. Um, but I think maybe a friend of yours or someone else comes along too that you're not anticipating either. And they tell you something about this person. They give you news here that you're not thrilled about. Um, and I think you hesitate whether to believe this person or not. It has something to do with a marriage here. So someone may tell you something here. Um, I think you're getting a lot of information from a lot of different people here, to be honest with you. But I have to say... In reference to your investments here with people, where this death card in reverse with the prudence card and the judgment card in reverse, ask someone about this, but I'm telling you, your advice on this is, is no. So if something is, watch your investments here, make sure that you know who the people are that are investing your money for you. Um, check your other signs too, because this I know came up in another reading, but I really don't think it was Virgo. I think it was one of the readings that I did yesterday. Um, if you're lending someone money, if you're taking a loan, if you're doing something, make sure your paperwork is 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 done diligently. Like, make sure you check it, have someone else check it, check it again. Um, you know, you come in with this and you've I've got to be honest with you, that's not, it's not good, especially when this is, um, it's coming up right after it. This is what you're coming in with, the tower card and the higher fit in reverse. So this could be, you know, like a, a it can be something that could cost you, right? Like you, it could be like maybe you need money fast for something because when I threw these, that's when I heard run. So I didn't even have these on the table yet. Okay, but then this shows up, and I think that you may be having to deal with this to attain this. Um, I'm going to say in here, too, your advice in this is to just, if, if you're asked to sign something or do something that's not above board here, because this could ruin someone's reputation. Like, it could ruin your reputation if you get involved with the wrong people. For some of you, I've got to be honest, there might be some kind of uh, drug thing here that someone ends up going to prison over. It could be something like that. But there's something here under the surface that is not above board. So you may end up having to pay something for someone. You know, maybe you're 
you need money, someone needs money. You need money really fast, I hear. Okay, but then I heard run, okay? All right. I think something doesn't go according to plan. I've got to be honest, and I think you're going to have to find a place for that. Give me a minute. For some of you that are thinking you're in the process of doing something, right? Your life is tidy. Something comes along where you need money really fast. Think of solutions. Think of ways to do this that are above board. I think you've got people around you that can help you. Maybe someone who helped you in the past could help you again. Okay, because I think someone, maybe your kid got in trouble and you've got to you know, bail them out or something here. But I think you need money really, you know, urgently here. Um, but again, where this card on your future here, your opportunities coming up, pass on something. Keep, you know, keep, be above board here. Do something the right way because this, these are just, I just, I think it's, you're coming across something that, could have long-term consequence. It could cost you your job. It could cost you, you know, something you're doing. I would suggest a big no on that. Anything that you feel there's a gray spot here, I would pass on it. Don't be pulled down the rabbit hole here. Um, I think you get a periphery. I think you get the view of this. Um, so have faith, because if you think you're in a bind and there's no way out, so you're going to take a chance on something that's not a little, it's a little dangerous, don't do it because I feel a solution comes for you here. I think someone from your past shows up and they may uh, be able to, to help you with this in an above board way. Okay. So that's what I've got. These are the energies guys. If this doesn't resonate with you, don't make it, but this is the energy where things will be flushed out if this kind of stuff was going on. So I just hope, you know, whatever side of the coin you're on, if someone's caging you in, you will have another way out. Um, don't sell your soul here for this. Okay, so there you go. I hope that I helped you. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. Um, I'll be more than happy to look at this for you. But I think there's a few different scenarios going on here. Um, so there you go. I hope that I helped you.